Hello friends, welcome. So in the previous video we worked with uh, Eloquent when I show you the introduction how we can uh, get all the posts and so on. So let's we worked with Tinker. Now if I go here and we have some examples, so flight all so the same thing, the same method I called in the post. So post all and get all the posts. Also, we have here a flight where, and this is a column, and this is the given number, so where the active is one. And we have this uh, is published here, so we can say the same thing where is published one, and it's going to get all the posts that is published is, going, is one. And uh, also here we have some other where number is this number, get the first one, so it's going to take only one. And we go to the collections. So as we've seen, the eloquent methods like all or and get retrieve uh, multiple records from the database. However, th these methods don't return a plain PHP array. Instead of instead an instance of the collection is returned. So here we have an instance of a collection, not a plain PHP array. The eloquent collection class extends uh, Laravel base illuminate support collection class which provide a variety of helpful methods so if i open this one here here is all the available methods for the collection the same the first one is all we played with that and we have average and chunk and i suggest you to go and check this one and here we have some examples where get and reject and chunking results and so on. And let's go and play also in this video with a Tinker. I'm going to create a new uh, post also. So let's say dollar sign post and I'm going to say up backslash models backslash and posts post and call the all method if i hit enter oh sorry we need to go to open the tinker so php artisan tinker and now say dollar sign post the B with up backslash models backslash post and call the old static method and now we have a collection here we don't have any post because I have clean this so let's create a new post first I'm going to say dollar sign post singular and here I'm going to get a new an instance of the post so new and say up backslash models backslash post and now we have the post model here and now we have an instance of a post we can access the columns of this post as a property so the columns the title id body and is published as but the ID is auto increment, so we don't need to touch that. The title, the body, and the is published. Okay. Also, the created that and updated that is managed by the Laravel, so don't we don't need the touch that. So let's say here now we have the post. Let's say post and title, and this is going to be a first title. I'm going to say. Okay, now I'm going to get the body. 
body and first body let's say hit enter now we need to call the save method in this post so this post model called the save method and hit enter and we get the true so if i come here now and go to data refresh we see we have that post so we created our first uh, post and you can see we have the id1 which is auto increment and the created art and updated art is corresponding to the time i i just created okay and it's the same as created art and the same with updated that. Now let's run again the pause all and now we have a pause so let's hit enter yeah we have this pause now. Let's create again one more so let's say let's clear this up and say dollar sign post two to be with new and if I say just post yeah, we don't have that. So let's say up backslash models backslash post. And I'm going to say post to now. Post to title will be with second title. I'm going to say second title. And now get the body post to body and say second body hit enter now call the save method so post to save hit enter and we have true if i come here and refresh also we have this uh, second type and both of them has the is published zero so if i uh, now call again the post you can see we have all the posts here if we want to have to get only this one we can run the so let's say the assign post one is going to be with up backslash models backslash and post and here call the find method and we need to pass here an id in this case i'm going to add the id of one and if i hit enter we get the uh, the post with id of one so it's going to get the post with this id also if we want the Post with ID 2, we can say 2 here, and it's going to get to the post with ID 2. And here we have some examples with where. So let's say also post, and uh, now say where. And I'm going to say where the Where the is published is one. We don't have we don't have a, a post with is published now one. So let's say where is published comma and this one we have both of them are zero. So let's say get now enter and we have an empty collection now if i change one of them so let's say that get this post with id2 and i'm going to say here post2 okay now this post this post2 is I'm going to get the is published and i'm going to set this to one okay now let's say also 
saved because right now it's not going to do anything yet. Oh, let's, let's say post to call the save method. Hit enter, we have a true. If I refresh, now we have the is published the one to this one. And if I run this again, so post one is going to be with app model post where is published this one. Okay, let's see. And now we can see that we have one post here because this post has this is published the one. And this was for this video. Hope you enjoy, friends. I'm going to show you more about the collections because you can see here have we have a bunch of uh, methods. Hope you enjoy. And if you like content like this, please subscribe to my channel and like the video. And see you in the next one. All the best.